Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up, you roll with words, and become much more articulate. In today's episode, I'm going to be dropping three of my predictions for the future. If you're new to the Armani Talks brand, there are a couple of core soft skills that each of the videos, the blogs, the podcasts, all discuss. And the soft skills include concentration, emotional intelligence, creativity, storytelling, public speaking, and social skills. In today's episode, we're diving into the world of creativity. A large part of creativity is being capable of seeing the future. And one way to see the future is every now and then having these little thought experiments which require you to predict the future. And in this episode, I'm going to be giving you three of these predictions that I see happening somewhere along the lines of seven to 14 years. And these are predictions. However, it's heavily influenced by data, evidence, and current trends. If you're ready and excited to hear the three predictions, go on and drop that like for me right on below. The first prediction is that in the future, more people are going to be loyal to universes and less loyal to people. I would say around 2005, the Spider-Man movie came out and myself and a bunch of friends, we were talking about the Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire nonstop. And every now and then when I was talking about the Spider-Man movie, uh, there was a dummy on the other end who was like, Spider-Man? No one likes Spider-Man. It's all about the Hulk. Another dummy was like, the Hulk? No one likes Hulk or Spider-Man. It's all about Thor. Roughly around 2005, we were very loyal to superheroes. But nowadays, what's happening is that a lot of these superheroes are making movies together. Marvel is no longer just this ambiguous company. It is now a universe. And more and more consumers are loyal to the universe. You too can apply this for your business by understanding what creates a universe. There's two very simple rules in terms of creating a universe. You create content and you connect content. And that's what Marvel did perfectly. They created Spider-Man, Hulk, Thor. Then they connected all three of them together in order to lead to the emergence of something new. So that's my first prediction. People are going to be more loyal to universes and less to individual people. Which brings me to my second point. One of the most effective ways in order to create a universe is to understand the art and science of short form content. See what's happening now as we're working our way to the future, in some ways, the past is now coming into the future as well with us. When storytelling was first becoming a thing, I mean, there wasn't writing or anything like that. Old school storytelling was uh, dispersed through oral storytellers. So picture one of those guys with a big beard. Uh, they have a lot of wisdom. They have a lot of lessons and they need to disperse this wisdom, these lessons in story format to their tribe. Do you really think they're over here talking for three to four hours? No, they had to be quick and to the point. Nowadays, you know, I've been very fascinated because, you know, my background was in IT and one of the most coveted positions for any IT professional was the CIO, Chief Information Officer. But in this era, there's a new position that's uh, coming uh, up. It's called the CSO, Chief Storytelling Officer. Plenty of big companies are nowadays investing in a CSO. And do you think they want their CSO uh, rambling nonstop? No, they want the CSO to be adept in telling short little stories that allow them to get the gist of you know, what's trying to be conveyed. So that's prediction number two, short form content is going to be on the rise. 
And the third prediction is that centralization and decentralization are going to shake hands. If you, uh, if you notice what is normally happening in uh, typical media coverage, nowadays uh, centralization is seen as the boogeyman. Uh, decentralization is seen as the Robin Hood. Everyone loves decentralization. And if you were to ask me, a decentralization is born from trust issues. And there are two things that causes the trust issues. It's a trust issue with mother nature and human nature. For the first one, mother nature. In my last company, I was working in this one team where I was introduced to uh, three different organizations that I work with. One was in Dallas, one was in Chicago, the other was in Phoenix, Arizona. And all three of these companies were doing the same exact task. So I go to my manager one day and I'm like, why are we working with these three groups of people who are doing the same exact thing? I mean, why don't they do some other stuff? I mean, why are we, it just seems redundant, doesn't it? That's when my manager was like, look, Armani, here's the thing. A couple of years ago, uh, we only had this uh, certain process in Dallas, but a tornado hit Dallas. It ruined all of the centers and we lost a lot of work and we lost a lot of money. So nowadays, we're deciding to decentralize in case another tornado hits. I was like, ah, okay, I see it. Uh, you have trust issues against mother nature in this scenario. Now, another scenario is, let's say you're going out of your way, you're building on a particular platform, and someone that you've never met gets jealous of you and starts talking down at you. They start making lies up about you and they start hurting your brand in this particular platform. Now, if you built your brand only on this platform, then you, my friend, are ruined. This is one of those situations where human nature, jealousy took down a giant. So decentralization is a must. It's a big part of reality. But the reason that decentralization is making a handshake motion with centralization is because in the future, brands are going to be kings. With so much content flowing around and with more people gradually shifting towards universes, they're going to look out for brands more. They're going to go for people that they're very familiar with. And these brands, it could be individuals, it could be corporations, that took the effort to decentralize on multiple platforms. They're not just a YouTuber. They have YouTube, but they also have a podcast. They also have a blog. They have multiple sources, decentralization under one brand, centralization. So this is one of the ways where centralization, decentralization are no longer going to be enemies. They're officially going to be friends. So these are my three predictions for the upcoming future that we're headed towards. And these are just predictions. They're not a fact or something that is bound to happen. Just keep your eyes open and notice the changes because the more that you notice the changes, the more that you can adapt at will. If you want more practical insights like this into communication skills, creativity, and many more other topics, feel free to join the Armani Talks free daily newsletter. In this newsletter, every single day at 7 p.m., I share a short story, an essay, uh, predictions on the future, on human nature, every now and then on mother nature, and many more other cool topics. I join the Armani Talks free daily newsletter and level up your communication skills by checking out the link in the description box, in the pinned comment, or go on armanitalks.com slash newsletter and sign up today. Thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel, and I'll catch you next time.